All right, guys. So do not be upset at me today, but we were at a pay lake. Had to pay six bucks for a day use permit to fish right here. But as y'all know, I like to catch a bass or two. Been fishing off the bank for a while and we got a ton of rain recently. And the good thing about these pay lakes are they're usually man-made and there's not a lot of inflow. So they don't get real stained up when it rains a ton. So it should be some really, really pre-spawn fish right here. The water still got a really good, I mean, it's not clear by any means, but a good green color to it. So should be able to catch a bass or two, hopefully a couple big ones. Got about five hours before dark. So let's get out there and try to catch us a couple real, real big ones. So let's go fish us a pay lake. First time in a few years we've had to pay to fish a lake. So let's go. I mean, blew up on it. I have to throw a spinnerbait back in there and get him. There we go. Nice one. Didn't take but about five minutes or less, probably three. So, that's what we're looking for. Prototype untamed tackle swim jig. That's why the head's not even painted. I've had this for a couple months now, but it bit this at first and it took my trailer off. So I just picked the spinnerbait up real quick, followed up with it, and caught it. I actually, caught that fish before Hunter and her dad ever even got out here to get in the boat. So, find me a new trailer. Came up and ate this swim bait, but just didn't get it. Watch them come eat it like that is so freaking cool. So that's that prototype swim jig, same thing I've been throwing. And that owner hook, you see how hard I set the hook on him? No flex at all on that owner jungle hook. <laughs> Little fish, but we snatched him about 27. Dang hey, gummit. So I just saw this one on bed right there beside that tree. Called it, pitched to it, it ate first cast, but I did not get it. I didn't have recording. I don't know why. I thought I did, but I did not. That is a freaking fat one. I snatched it straight out of there, straight out of the water, boat flipped it, and caught it. But that gum it. You can see right there, though. She's dilated. She's ready to lay some eggs. So I'm going to put her right back real quick. Not going to keep any today at all. Unless I catch me a big old fat man. Right back over there towards that bed. All right, so I'm a little bit tilted right now because I did catch that one big one off bed and did not have the camera rolling. So I know I've done said that like three times, but I really am upset about it. It was a really cool catch. I, I said, oh, there's a good one. Pitched to it, first cast, got it to bite, set the hook on it, it was thrashing, swung it in the boat, four and a half pounder. But for whatever reason, didn't have the camera rolling. I don't know. I'm, I'm prone to doing that kind of crap sometimes. But anyways, gonna try to catch us a couple more like that and hopefully, get them on video make a good video for you guys so see y'all next y'all be on the chesty and we'll be catching another big one all right we rolling everything's good all right let's go got him oh it's a good one at swim bait i knew one was gonna come out of that freaking one of them trees in a minute it just looks too good coming through there. He's got weird colorations too. Look at that. He came out of there and just slurped that thing up. Yep, I am recording. Thank goodness. That's over two pounder, two and a quarter, two and a half. Came out there and just crushed it. I just saw it at the corner of my eyes already looking at my next cast. Ate that little six inch swim bait. Super, super cool. I knew that was gonna pay off in a, in a little while. That is very, very cool. That's a male for sure. Big mouth, small frame. Cool. Got him. 
Man, it's fun catching them on that swim bait. Watch them come up and eat that thing. <laughs> I threw over that freaking stump and he just came up and... God, it's fun. It looks like a big bait. Whenever you see like what they can eat, it ain't. It really ain't. Yep. All the fish in here are a good size. Yeah. Hugged him through the bone. That, that one ain't but a... What is he eating? He ate a freaking bluegill. But you see how wop-sided it is? It ain't really like eggs down there. It's, he ate something square. Got a good one. Hold on. On the hook set, I knocked my dang thing down. I got it. Don't go over there. Uh oh, come here. Come here. Yeah, dude, that's a fatty. That is awesome. He ain't, he ain't long, he's just fat, dude. God, look at big female, pre spawn female. Look at how fat. Holy crap. That was an awesome, awesome fish catch. Hope you all saw that on the GoPro. I, I just hooked the female. Now yeah. I threw back in there and the male had it. That female, that was three and a half pounder I had. There's one on bed. Stay right there, big girl. Don't move. I spooked the heck out of her. What a terrible cast. What a terrible cast. I can't see her now. It's weird, man. Ain't no males up there. The males ain't up there, just the females. There she is right there. There she, oh, she chased it. It's not a four pound. It's three and a half, three and three quarters though. She's up there. She's a little bit aggressive, like strangely aggressive to be not on the bed. She's up there and she's pretty aggressive. I think it's about a four pounder. We'll see though. In about 20 seconds, I believe. I believe so. If I can find her again. That's it. Yep, here she comes. I got her out from the bushes. <laughs> She's running with it. Yep. Get away from the poles. I mean, my drag was too loose. <laughs> I knew I saw her coming. When she finally set up, I knew it was on. Yeah. Yeah, it's close to a four pounder. Fat one, dude. I'm gonna take her on this side and land her. That is awesome. Saw her sitting up there. Set up on her. <laughs> Anybody at my YouTube channel knows about tournament going on over here at the Herb Parsons Lake, let me know. I hooked her perfectly. Uh -oh. dropped her. Well, three and a half, three and three quarter maybe. <laughs> that is awesome. Man, that's fun. That's probably a 310, 312, something like that. 
fat man just super fat i believe that is a male actually at first i thought it was a female but i think that is a male so get back up there when the girlfriend gets here i'll be right back Oh, big and oh my god that was insane yep i mean came up and nailed it i mean choked it uh oh get over here oh my goodness dude i mean came up and just choked that thing look at that damn throat gone that is awesome. That is a big one. I can't even get the hook out. He hooked it so deep. It's so fat, man. You talk about one eating that dude. God, he's so fat. I don't know. I think he's just a little bit under six, but I definitely think he's over five and a half. I think he's like a five fourteen or something. It's hard to tell though. He just ain't real long. Ain't none of them, ain't none of them been real long today. He's got a little hole in his lip. What was that doing? Five fourteen. That's what you see, man. I think them other ones were like just a pound smaller than that. I think they were close to five pounders. Yeah. The other two. I mean, so fat, man. So fat. In case y'all couldn't see that, it locked on that five fourteen. another big one gosh dude holy crap i mean come on come on with it it ain't as big but it's a good one gosh i got him hooked in the bottom of the lip i got he gonna rip that if i swing him i believe so i'm gonna grab yeah look he popped out i mean dude look at that that's three and a half pounder as soon as I grabbed him, he came off. Gah! That's a little one for that big old bait, ain't it? <laughs> Yep. Got him. Broke off. Son of a gun. Dang. Broke yep. Dang, I ain't retired all day though. Yep. Dad gum it. Alright, so as you guys saw, we caught him up pretty good. Quality was very, very impressive as at that lake. I got a hunch that there are some really really big ones in there as well so whenever they get on bed get locked on i bet we can go over there and find some real real big ones on bed also graft some offshore rock piles some offshore brush piles that had giant schools of crappie on them so postpone if i go back out there i definitely gonna try to hit the brush piles hit the rock piles because i know that's where some of them real real big ones hang out eat them big old crappie so Really, really cool place to fish. Small lake, fish the entire lake in one day. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments on my trolling motor being noisy, trolling being loud, because I always do. That one prop, whenever I change prop to the three blade, the trolling motor is very, very quiet. When I use that two blade katana, just that one, just that only that one prop that I got for whatever reason, that one prop is super, super noisy whenever I put it on. So I took it off and I put the three blade on and it was super quiet. Then I put that katana back on just to see 
and it was noisy again. So I'm gonna take that prop off, especially around bed fish, stuff like that. So that's why that trolling motor is so noisy. Whenever I put the regular three blade motor guide machete prop on, it's not noisy at all. It's very, very quiet. So I'm about to go back to that lake right now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button to check out the next video. I'm gonna go try to throw a little bit more finessey stuff around, try to catch some of them big pre-spawners and stuff like that. But anyways, if you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Really, really cool lake here in Carrieville, Tennessee. Not too far away, but you gotta pay to fish there. It just kind of hurts your ego when you gotta fish a pay lake. But the biggins are there, they're biting. They always spawn first on those private or public small lakes that are real stable. So let's go back over and try to pick us off a couple more bed fish today.